sanctions imposed on Zimbabwe by the United States since December 2001, have cost the country a lot of money and affect every person without exception, former opposition legislator and veteran economist Mr. Eddie Cross has said. M. R. Cross, who was MDC legislator for Bulawayo South constituency from 2008 to 2018, said the Zimbabwe Economic and Democracy Recovery Act, Zidera, had cut the country off from the international monetary system, making cross-border transactions difficult. I just take once more, a personal example, I bought a car a couple of years in Japan, and I had to pay some 10,000 US dollars for it, said Mr. Cross. I couldn't transfer US dollars. I had to get my bank eventually after three months and buy a million Japanese yen because every time I tried to transfer 10,000 US dollars, the banks, international banks, they said no, because of Zidera. We don't have any correspondent banks, how can it work like that? When Americans say that the sanctions are targeted, they are not. They affect every Zimbabwean without exception because they have isolated us completely from international monetary system. Mr. Cross said Americans have been threatening banks and punishing those that process international payments from Zimbabwe. CBZ was fined US$385 million, United States, that is three times its capital base, said Mr. Cross, his confirmation that the sanctions are not targeted at any listed individuals and companies. Is at variance with the view peddled by opposition leaders that the sanctions are not against the entire country, but individuals, Zimbabwe and the SADC bloc will commemorate the anti-sanctions day on Wednesday, a day that was declared by SADC in 2019, on the day. SADC member states are required to embark on activities that denounce the sanctions imposed on Zimbabwe. A number of local companies say the sanctions have prevented them from making direct international payments for raw materials and machinery spare parts.